It's fun helping in the Happy Meal workshop, Ronald. Great, Katie. What's this thing, Ronald? That's our stop sign. Stop sign? <laughs> Press this. <laughs> stop everything and have a Happy Meal. The Happy Meal, something that in modern day feels a little underwhelming at best. Sure, the allure of the Mighty McNugget sounds great, but do kids really get excited about getting a Happy Meal these days? No, not really. I have young kids myself and so do all of my friends and the common census is that, yeah, they are fine. But back in the 80s and 90s and even early 2000s, the vibe and appeal of a Happy Meal? Well, it was so much more. McDonald's was founded in sunny San Bernardino, California in 1940, which I think is really cool because I'm from California as well, but that's not exactly what we're here to talk about today. It's the Happy Meal. Your kids will love McDonald's Happy Meal. It's food and fun in a box. You see, it was not until the mid-1970s that a woman named Yolanda Fernandez de Cofino began working with her husband operating McDonald's restaurants in Guatemala. She created what she called the Menu Ronald, or the Ronald Menu, which offered a hamburger, small fries, and a small sundae to help mothers feed their children more effectively while at McDonald's restaurants. Such a cool little idea, but the concept was so smart that it was eventually brought to the attention of McDonald's management in Chicago. The idea gained more and more ground, and the company gave the development of this product to Bob Bernstein, an American businessman and entrepreneur, who then came up with the idea for, you guessed it, the hat. To go into further detail, in 1977, the McDonald's restaurant owner clients who regularly met with Bernstein were looking for ways to create a better dining experience for families with kids. Yay! Bernstein reasoned that if kids could get a packaged meal all on their own instead of just picking at their parents' food, everybody would be much happier. And I thought, geez, that clicked with me. And I thought, wow, if we could come up with a, a box concept for McDonald's and put uh, about 10 different things on the outside of the box for kids to do while they're eating, then that would be a winner. He then called in his creative team and had them mock up some paper-bound boxes fashioned to resemble lunch pails with the McDonald's golden arches for handles. Brilliant. They called in nationally known children illustrators and offered them the blank slate of filling the boxes, sides, and tops with their own colorful ideas from art to jokes to games to comic strips to stories to fantasy, whatever they thought might appeal to kids. Inside the box would be a burger, small fries, Ooh, french fries, a packet of cookies, and a surprise gift. A small drink would accompany these items as well. Bernstein then named it the Happy Meal, and it was successfully introduced into Kansas City in their market in October of 1977 with television spots, radio spots, posters, and everything you could really think of for marketing. Other markets followed, and the national rollout happened in 1979, and the rest is history, and now, pure nostalgia. You get one of four different Lego building sets when you buy a McDonald's Happy Meal. When the Happy Meal was officially launched in 1979, the toys were a McDoodle stencil, a McWrist wallet, an ID bracelet, a puzzle lock, a spinning top, or a McDonald Land character shaped eraser. In Canada, the promotion prior to Happy Meals was called the Treat of the Week, where a different toy was available free on request each week. This promotion continued after the Happy Meal was introduced in 1979, while Happy Meal toys have also become increasingly elaborate and much better in the years after. While they were initially cheap items, such as a frisbee or a ball, they have gradually been replaced with increasingly more sophisticated and more fun toys. They, they made you, as a kid, want to go to McDonald's. McDonald's make dino changeables! Eight food toys that turn into dinosaurs. You can collect one with each Happy Meal you buy. Many of which are a tie-in to an existing TV series 
film, video game, or toy line. Which is really all we cared about as kids. Saturday morning cartoon characters, video game characters, other characters that we love. We're gonna go to McDonald's and get some food that's kind of junk food that really is catered for us but we're gonna get some of our favorite characters as toys or promotions or some sort in this, that's rad. This is where the golden era started for me and many others. When McDonald's brought our favorite video game characters into our Happy Meals, or our most loved Saturday morning cartoon show, or our most cherished movies and more, this was everything. I loved Happy Meals. I mean, Happy Meals were your gateway into the world of collecting for a lot of us growing up. That's the way it started, was our parents taking us to McDonald's to get a Happy Meal. And inside the Happy Meal was a toy. And usually the toy was from one of your favorite toy lines. The food was great. There was no denying that as a kid. The extra salty French fries, the mouth-watering nuggets, or whatever else you may have chose. But man, moreover, food or drink or any salivation, I want to know which toy you were going to give me. Oh no! So once again, there are fries for everyone. A happy ending. I have so many Happy Meals boxes that I genuinely love that I just keep out. I actually got these when they were flattened and I wanted myself, even though, yeah, they can be better preserved, flattened and in their original form, but popping them up like this, you know, you have things like Bobby's World. That, again, as a kid, it was just so cool to see food that you liked, a toy that you were gonna get inside, alongside cool packaging with some of your favorite characters. Super Mario Brothers 3, I have a few different ones of these. This might be one of my grail level ones because nothing has popped out on it. There's no opening on any of this. There's no creases, there's no folds. Look who's popping into McDonald's. It's Mario from the new Super Mario Brothers 3 game. It's beautiful and as a kid, Mario, I know we said Saturday morning cartoons or just cartoons in general, but Mario, might have been top tier. So to feel like this character was tied into your food was a really cool feeling. I can remember growing up and collecting Chippendale Rescue Rangers Happy Meals. That, that was a big deal because that show was a huge hit when it came out. I can also remember um, Tiny Toon Adventures. When Tiny Toon Adventures came out, that was a huge one because I loved those with the car, the, the way the cart was. It was, there were these carts, right? And each character was like on top of the cart, but if you push the head down of the character, out the bottom flipped another character with another vehicle painted on the other side. It was super creative. Another one is Dinosaurs right here. Again, I have so many different ones, but Dinosaurs was one of my favorite shows as a kid, such a unique show and not necessarily a cartoon, but again, debatably a kid show when you really look back on it but all these different things and different brandings that are just so cool to look at. What you want to be, you and I heard music at McDonald's today. I'm sure there is a good amount of people in the world or the majority of people in the world would see me hold these up and say these are lame, cheaply made toys from the past. Uh, but to me, they're more than that. I have hundreds of these at this point. You know, you can see Mario up there, Bobby's World, Furby, characters you love, Animaniacs. But besides that, you also got some McDonald's exclusive toys that you may or may not have known who these characters were and may not have been that excited to collect them. You may have seen them in some commercials or not, but even if not, you just grew up growing to like these. You started to see the, the fry guy and go, hey, this is cool. And, oh, it's the old pile of fry kids. It looks like a bush tree. I told you we should have been a tree. You'd at first go, yeah, it's all right, but then you'd start to enjoy playing with them and incorporating them into your other's toys with Mario as a kid, and that's what you did. And for me, doing that most of my childhood in these big special occasions of going to play with my McDonald's toys, yeah, all of these and everything else I have back there, there's no specific rhyme or reason to which one sticks out more which is all part of my McDonald's Happy Meal toys. You see, back in the days, McDonald's was a real treat. It was part of something special in your childhood. We did not go over there every single day in my family. It was part of a whole thing at my house, like, okay, kids, who wants, you guessed it, kids, a Happy Meal tonight? Buy me a Happy Meal, buy me a Happy Meal, please. Okay, we're going to, where are we going? To McDonald's. To McDonald's. McDonald's. Then we would all scream out of excitement at the surprise. 
We all knew that not only this, but this was usually followed by us heading to the local Blockbuster video where we would go out as a family and rent some movies together, then go back home and watch it together while eating and playing with our new Happy Meal. Along that same note, there was a Looney Tunes line, not a Tiny Tunes, but the original Looney Tunes. Huh? I don't recall that stipulation in the contract. And it was like a, a Looney Tunes DC line, superhero line, where Bugs was Superman and Taz was the Flash. I think Daffy Duck was Batman or Bat Duck or Duck Man, whoever you want to call it. I collected these specifically. I remember that particular line, collecting it with dad and going to, dad would take me to various McDonald's across town looking to collect that line, to finish that collection. There's only four characters, but for some reason, the Bugs Bunny one eluded us. And I remember going to various, we probably went to four different McDonald's that day. And at the final one, they had the Bugs Superman. I don't know why it was hard to find, but we didn't want to buy another Happy Meal. So I remember dad actually asking the store, you know, the store uh, clerk, hey, can, or maybe it was the manager, the manager even came up at one point and said, my dad said, hey, can we just buy the toy by itself? Because that's all we want. We were collecting the toys. And there, I think it was before it became a policy to uh, allow you know people to just buy the toy because the, man, the manager really put up a, a fuss about it. It was kind of funny. Eventually, dad convinced the guy and we got the Bugs Bunny and I had completed my set of the Looney Tunes superhero line. This was probably in 1992, I want to say. Sometimes I look back and I think to myself, were Happy Meals that great? Yeah, the food was pretty good. Yeah, the toys and the characters that we got were awesome. Was it all that? Or was it the circumstances surrounding Happy Meals during those days that made its presence that much better? You see, I really believe that with no smartphones present or distractions at every second, the world and the happenings inside each day just felt more present, if you could say so. We ate our silly little Happy Meals, but we did it together. And when I say together, I really mean together, just chatting. No distractions of my brother or friend checking his phone or checking his status on social media. No phone lighting up during the movie. Heck, even when going to rent a movie nine times out of 10, we had no idea if it was gonna be a good movie or not because the internet could not tell us what we should or should not be expecting. Man, so many incredible memories with those with those toy lines and just the Happy Meals in general, they brought a smile to your face when you were a kid. I, I know I may be getting a little off track here, but the Happy Meal was all part of this circle for me as a kid. Eating food that, even though we know it was unhealthy, well, it was crafted for a kid like me. And the things that were happening around me just felt right, even though it was just food and it was just a toy. My surroundings were, again, all there and present and with me playing video games and whether you were playing or not, whoever you were with was paying attention to every move, watching every second of the movie. Everyone was tuned in the whole time with no mind wandering to something else. So yeah, something as simple as eating a silly Happy Meal or a toy that was made for me just felt like a different experience that you may have had to live through to really understand. And this summer, there's only one place to find it. McDonald's. Really, and, and I'm, I'm thankful for them because I have so much great memories attached to getting them and collecting them with my parents, and also just lots of great nostalgia that I get whenever uh, whenever I think about them. There are very few things from my childhood that I lock into that high level of nostalgia to where when I think back, I'm like, these are the God level things from my past. That being video games, toys, Saturday morning cartoons, blockbuster video. But when I really think into the perspective of myself as a child, yeah, the Happy Meal was honestly a part of that. It just fits and it just feels right. And again, what really matters is that just looking at some old Happy Meal boxes really does bring a smile to my face.